In this lesson, we're going to look at how behaviors help organisms survive and reproduce. So first we have to answer the question, what is a behavior? Well, first we have a stimulus. So that's something that changes in your environment, and that can be a whole lot of different things. And then the behavior is the response to that stimulus. And now there are two types of behaviors. One is called innate behaviors. These are instincts, things that you were born already knowing how to do. And then there are learned behaviors. These are ones that you have to get through experience. We get innate behaviors by our DNA. These behaviors are actually coded for by DNA, and as a result, they are also developed through natural selection. So why do organisms need these adaptations? Well, for a couple of different reasons. Primarily because all living things are in competition with one another for things like survival and reproduction, the two main things that you need to do as a living thing. So let's look at how these behaviors aid survival. So we're going to look at ones that get, help you get and conserve resources, ones that help you respond to environmental changes, and ones that help you work together in social groups. All of these things help improve the likelihood of survival for an individual. So the first one we're going to look at is called phototaxis. <clears throat> and this means moving to light. Just think photo means light. Taxis is kind of like a taxi. Uh, takes you somewhere. So phototaxis moving to light. And this is going to be things... A lot of different organisms do phototaxis um, because light is very often where food is. Um, if they're a photosynthetic organism, that's where they can actually make food and so on. Chemotaxis is similar except that it's moving to food specifically. Uh, so organisms will actually be able to sense the chemicals and then move towards them. So here's another example of helping to conserve resources. So hibernation due to a lack of food. Many organisms like bears will do this during the wintertime. And then estivation is a similar thing but with a lack of water. So for example on the Serengeti when those water holes dry up during the dry season, little frogs and fish and things will burrow down and estivate until the waters come back. Habituation basically just means getting used to something, getting in the habit of. So in this situation, you have horses where normally a gunshot would uh, spook a horse, but because they have been trained um, and exposed to these gunshots um, over and over again, they've gotten used to it. Kind of the same way where if you go into a room that has some weird smells, very quickly you forget um, and you don't smell that anymore. You just get used to it. Trial and error learning, uh, that's fairly self-explanatory. Migration, moving to find food, water, or nesting sites. Classical conditioning is learning by association. So in this case, you have a dog, and when you present food to this dog, it drools in anticipation of the food, and it does not do that with a bell. However, when we give, if we give the food to the dog, and every time we do, we ring a bell, eventually the dog associates the bell sound with the food, and just ringing the bell will cause the dog to drool. This is called classical conditioning. All right, now let's look at how they aid in reproduction. So attracting a mate, competing for mates, and raising offspring. 
courtship behavior, this is attracting a mate. Um, so males of many different species do this. Additionally, um, males will engage in aggressive behavior where they basically fight for females. And in both of these situations, um, this is essentially showing the females who is the uh, who has the best genes? Who is the male that most that you most want to have their genes um, in your offspring? Imprinting is a way to help the babies survive. So when they're born, they imprint on the mother, and these little ducklings are following this uh, mother along because they have imprinted on her. Um, they can also imprint on humans, even. And then finally, suckling is something that all mammals, babies, know uh, are born knowing how to do. Um, and this is the way that they get milk. Uh, 